Hello friends, welcome to part one of this three part series. This first video is going to be a gentle slow flow. We'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. Bring your knees as wide as your mat, rest your hips over your heels and reach your arms out in front of you. Allow your forehead to connect to your mat and begin to focus on your breath. One more breath as you are in stillness. On your next inhale, begin to rise up for swan pose. You'll shift forward, keep your knees where they are, dip your hips forward, and then reach your toes to the back of your head. As you exhale, send it back into child's pose. Begin to walk your hands to the right edge of your mat. Maybe place your left hand on top of right. Begin to open up through your left rib cage. Walk the hands back through center. Inhale, rise up for swan. Exhale, child's pose. This time walk your hands over to the left edge. Right hand might rest on top of left. Send your breath towards your right rib cage. Bring the hands back through center. Inhale for swan. Exhale, child's pose. Begin to walk your hands to the back of your mat. Bring your knees together. Sit back on your heels. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, cactus through your arms. Inhale, reach. This time, right hand plants, side body stretch through the left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, exhale, left hand plants, reach through the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, cactus. Find an interlace behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades together. Maybe reach your fists down to the soles of your feet. Keep your interlace. As you begin to fold forward, bring the crown of your head down to the mat. Slowly begin to rise up. Release the arms overhead, big inhale. On your exhale, ground your hands. Begin to walk them out in front of you. Keep your hips stacked over your knees as you lower the heart for puppy pose. From your puppy, shift forward, come onto your hips. We'll extend our left arm out to the side, right hand under your shoulder. Gently roll over to the left, step your right foot behind you. back onto the belly. We'll extend our right arm out, left hand under the shoulder. Roll to the right, step left foot behind. Back onto the belly, both hands under your shoulders. 
Inhale, lift the heart a little bit for baby cobra. Exhale to lower. Inhale, rise a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise, maybe all the way into seal pose. Straighten out through your arms. Exhale, lower. Tucking your toes on your inhale, pass through tabletop. Exhale to down dog. Lift the hips up and back. Allow a big bend through your right knee as you straighten out through the left. And switching to the other side, bend through the left leg, straighten out through the right. Allow a bend in both of your knees as you slowly begin to walk your hands to the back of your mat, meeting in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Fingertips might find your shins. Exhale to fold. Reach onto opposite elbows, find your ragdoll. Sway the torso side to side. And release your hands down to the mat. On your next inhale, slowly roll up through the spine. Shoulders, neck, head are last to arrive. And then big sweep of the arms, palms connect overhead. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Two more just like that. Inhale, slowly roll up. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Last one, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Begin to walk your hands out into a plank pose. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Keep the hips low. One full round of breath. And lower the knees, tabletop. As you inhale, drop your belly, pull your heart through, lift your gaze for cow. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the back, chin to chest, hat. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. One more, inhale. And exhale. Find a neutral tabletop pose. On your inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, thread your needle, right arm under the torso. Rest on your shoulder and temple. Left hand can reach to the top of the mat. Maybe sweep it behind the back for a half bind. Left hand underneath your shoulder. Inhale, reach right arm up to the sky. And exhale to release. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread your needle. Right hand to the top of the mat. Or maybe reach it behind your back. Right hand under your shoulder. Inhale, reach left arm up to the sky. And exhale to ground. We'll tuck our toes, lift our hips up and back. Down dog. And on your inhale, rise to your tippy toes, gaze forward. Exhale, slowly tiptoe your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale to rise, high mountain. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step back into a plank pose. You can always lower your knees here. Or use your inhale to shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Up and back, down dog. We'll lower the knees down to the mat. Sweep the feet out in front of us. Extend your right leg long. And then work on extending through the left. Finding this wide straddle stretch. Reach your left fingertips towards your left toes. Inhale, right arm up and over, side body stretch. Your right hand reaches for right toes. Sweep the left arm up and over, side body stretch through the left. This time, inhale, rise, reach both arms up to the sky, rotate the torso towards the left, and then fold forward. Inhale, both arms up, rotate towards the right, and exhale to fold. Inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, plant them out in front of you. Begin to fold down the center. Maybe stay lifted on the fingertips. Connect your palms. If it feels good, you can lower down onto your forearms. Begin to lift up through the chest. We'll sweep our left leg to the top of the mat to meet right. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly roll up through the spine. Check that you have space behind you and then roll the back down. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Walk the heels in towards the glutes. Arms by your side, preparing for a round of bridge pose. On your inhale, lift up through your hips. You might interlace the hands under the back. Walk the shoulders closer together. Really press through the soles of your feet. Can you lift your hips a little bit higher? We'll rise up to our tippy toes to release the interlace if you have it and slowly roll the back down. Let's scoot our hips all the way to the right edge of your mat. On your inhale, pull the knees close into the chest. As you exhale, drop them over to the left, supine twist. You can reach your arms out to a T. Cactus the arms, maybe place your left hand on top of your right thigh. Bring the knees through center, a little rock from side to side. And then we'll scoot our hips over to the left first. Inhale, knees into the chest. 
Exhale, drop them over to the right. Finding a shape with your arms that feels best for you. Holding for two more rounds of breath. Come here and wind from your twists. Taking happy baby pose. So those will be up to the sky. Flex the feet. And then maybe reaching for your shins, calves, pinky edges of the feet. Find a little rock. Massage out your back. You might extend through your right leg. Bring it back in and extend through the left. And then bring it back in. We'll pull the knees into the chest. Bring the forehead up towards the knees. Hold for the inhale. And on your exhale, release everything down into Shavasana. Arms and legs extended long. Allow your feet to fall open wide and the palms of your hands to face up to the sky. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana for at least 10 rounds of breath if your day allows for it. If you're ready to continue on with your day, inviting movement back into your body. We'll reach the arms overhead for a long body stretch. And then pulling the knees into the chest. Finding a rock and roll up and down your spine. Making your way into Sukhasana, easy seated. Bring the hands to the heart, thumbs press into the chest. And bowing the forehead down towards your fingertips. As always, the light in me sees, honors, loves, and is grateful for the light in each of you. From my heart to yours, namaste.